TV right now is struggling, and I don't know that they're going to find that they're going to find their footing again. My channel on YouTube is Kaisi. It started out as just like vlogging just about my life, and then I ended up um, realizing there was a huge need for basic sex ed. So I started talking about. Um, just what I was learning in school and people really enjoyed that and I'm all about giving out information and and just helping people out in that sense. I have a, a couple actually quite a few really popular videos in the millions. My channel has become about sex ed and I don't really know how it just kind of happened I guess um, I really have no idea how that happened. It is global like I have viewers in all but five countries and that just boggles my mind. It's changed my life in giving me so many opportunities. Um, I've been able to work with some really great people. It's great to meet other YouTubers as well and get their perspective on things and their ideas. They're all just been incredible. I have always wanted to meet the wine cone, met him, and he's, he's, such, he's so uncomfortable with meeting new people and I love that and so I love to make him even more uncomfortable because it's just entertaining and fun. YouTube and the internet is totally um, the future. I think it is going to overtake um, TV um, in the sense that people can choose who they like and it's so much more real and allows for such a variety of creativity. People aren't put inside a box and forced to um, to stay there. If there was no YouTube, um, I definitely would not be reaching the, um, the kind of people I would. I wouldn't be having opportunities. You can't beat the traffic that's on YouTube um, and the kind of, the kind of community there um, that's ready and willing to listen to you. I just, I, I really can't imagine life without YouTube at this point.